Well, good evening to everybody and welcome to our evening prayers this evening. And this evening we are going to keep things really quite simple. Back this morning at our APCM, our annual meeting and, and the service that was just before that, we looked once again at our vision as a, as a church, what we aim to do as a church. And that is, uh, as many of you know, in the, in the front of our, our church directory. And we aim to help people to know Christ, to grow in Christ, and to go for Christ. To know Christ, grow in Christ, and go for Christ. And that vision is really based on Jesus' great commission, as it's often called. Those words he said to his disciples, recorded at the end of Matthew's Gospel, the last, where Matthew f f uh, decides to finish his Gospel with this great command of Jesus to his disciples. And in that we see he's commanding them to help others to come to know Christ, to go and tell them so that they can come to know Christ. And not just come to know Christ, but come, become true disciples of him. Grow in their faith and, uh, and follow him. And I guess having done that, they themselves are able to go and uh, repeat the process. Sharing the good news with others. Enabling them to come to know Christ and then grow in Christ. We're just going to take a moment or two this evening to pray for each of those things. To pray that through us as a church people would come to know Christ. To pray that through us as a church we ourselves and others would grow in Christ. And then as well not just uh, grow in uh, knowledge but grow in action as well as we want to go for Christ both in our own community and, well, far beyond, as we partner with other um, missionary organisations, for example, uh, across the world, as people go from here to other places to share the good news. So that's where we're heading. In a moment I'll read the Matthew passage. And to help us this evening, uh, draw our prayers together. I'm going to use one or two uh, collects from the uh, prayer book that we've used over the past few weeks. Let me start with the collect for the 10th Sunday after Trinity, a few weeks ago now. A great collect to start our time of prayer together. We pray, let your merciful ears, O Lord, be open to the prayers of your humble servants, and that they may obtain their petitions. Make them to ask such things as shall please you. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. We pray to God that he would help us with our praying. And we even need help with our praying. That we would pray for things that God would love to answer. And so let me read from Matthew chapter 28. Verse 16. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you 
and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Jesus commands his followers to go and make disciples, make more disciples. The sign of uh, becoming uh, a follower of Jesus is, is given as baptism. That sign of washing and cleansing from an old way of life, of a fresh start, a totally fresh start with uh, the Lord Jesus. And in our vision statement, in our mission statement, in our aims as a church, we want to help people to know Christ. So let's spend some time uh, in prayer. I'll finish off this section with another collect in a minute or two. But let's pray that people, through the ministry of our church, would come to know Christ. Let's pray especially at this time for our Alpha course, starting uh, t tomorrow, starting on Monday. Let's pray at this time for our ministry uh, through YouTube, online, for things like Ask a Pastor and our normal services going out to a wider audience. Let's pray that even our children's work would give children growing up um, a knowledge of who the Lord Jesus is so that they can come to the point where they can decide themselves and know enough to decide themselves uh, whether they can um, are going to uh, follow the Lord Jesus or not. And let's pray for ourselves as individuals and as a church that our words and our lives would make clear the good news about Jesus. Let's pray that in all these ways we would help people to come to know Christ. Let's pray. And so, Father God, we pray. We pray that whether through things online or things in our buildings, whether through our Alpha course or our children's work, 
whether through our own personal words and actions or through what we do as a church for our community and in speaking your word we pray that all these for through all these things we would help people to come to to know Christ we know that that's not going to be done in our own strength so we pray for you to be at work through these things that we do in your strength and so I'm going to use the collect for the 13th Sunday after Trinity Almighty God who called your church to bear witness that you were in Christ reconciling the world to yourself. Help us to proclaim the good news of your love, that all who hear it may be drawn to you. Through him who was lifted up on the cross and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. So we go on to our second section of our prayers this evening. The second part of our aim of, as a church is to help people to grow in Christ. And we remember that when Jesus taught his disciples, he told them to make disciples. That's people who would truly follow uh, the Lord Jesus. Um, and so that just doesn't require people to come to, to, to know Jesus but to, to grow in their faith in him so that they can be true followers, true disciples and Jesus emphasised that by telling his disciples to teach uh, those they met, uh, teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. Coming to know Jesus' words, his commands, to, to understand his actions, to know him better and to live that out. So let's pray for ourselves as a church. Pray that we as individuals would want to know Christ better, know him better through his word, know him uh, better by uh, coming to him in prayer day by day, know him better by wanting to live by his commands day by day. And we pray that we would do that as individuals, but also that our, our ministry as a church would help ourselves, would help others to do that. So let's pray that our, our preaching and teaching would always be focused on the Lord Jesus. And especially at this time, our teaching of Jesus' words of the Bible would be as accessible to as many as possible. It's, it's not easy at the moment to make sure everybody has, has access to that. But we're trying through our mixture of things in our buildings, things on YouTube like this, things on CDs, to make sure that Jesus' teaching uh, reaches as many as possible. So let's pray for our own growth and the growth of others uh, that we know as we want to see uh, ourselves and others grow in Christ. Let's pray.
So Father God, we pray that we would always be ready to grow in Christ. We would always want to do that as individuals and as a church. And Father, we do pray that you would take and use our ministry as a church and our words and actions as individuals, that they may help other believers to grow in the Lord Jesus, grow to know him better, love him more and live his way day by day. And so the collect for the, the 15th Sunday after Trinity, praying that by the power of God's Spirit this might be true. God, who in generous mercy sent the Holy Spirit upon your church in the burning fire of your love, grant that your people may be fervent in the fellowship of the Gospel, that always abiding in you they may be found steadfast in faith and active in service. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so on to our final part uh, of our mission statement, of our aim as a church that we want to pray about. And this part encourages us to help people to go for Christ. We want to see all who know Christ having a ministry where they go for Christ. They go for Christ to, to help others, to help others come to know him or to serve others in a certain way or to go to help build up at the body of Christ and so we want to pray for ourselves that we would be ready to be active in service whether that's it with our, our family our immediate community or somewhere else altogether we want to pray that as a church we would be encouraging all people to use their gifts and skills that Jesus has given to be active in his service. And we want to pray that that would include a ministry far beyond uh, our own parish. And so we want to encourage people to think about uh, mission work abroad and where that's not possible to support it in prayer and giving and encouragement. So let's pray for ourselves as a church that we would be one that helps people to use their gifts and abilities to go for Christ in active service and we'll be a church that's interested in Christ's mission here and far beyond. Let's pray together.
Let's take a moment now just as we think about going for Christ to pray for ourselves. Whether there's something new that the Lord Jesus is calling us to do in our own lives. Whether in uh, prayer or in giving or in serving or in doing, depending on our circumstances. And let's pray that Jesus would give us the strength to, in this way, go for him and put this desire into practice. Let's pray for ourselves just for a moment. And so for ourselves and our whole church family, I'm going to use the, sixth, the collect of the 16th Sunday after Trinity. O oh Lord, we beseech you mercifully to hear the prayers of your people who call upon you and grant that they may both perceive and know what things they ought to do and also may have the grace and power faithfully to fulfil them. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Well, thank you for praying with us this evening. Thank you for praying that we would put into practice that vision of ours as a church to help people to come to know Christ, to grow in Christ, and go for Christ. In just a moment, Pam is going to sing for us a, a final song, helping us to, to want to be outward looking as, uh, as a church family, outward looking as a church. Before then, just one uh, final collect. thinking again about our prayers before God. This is the collect for the 12th Sunday after Trinity. Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we to pray and to give more than either we desire or deserve. Pour down upon us the abundance of your mercy forgiving us those things of which our conscience is afraid and giving us those good things for which we are not worthy to ask. But through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining in and I thank you to Pam for this as we finish.